Hey, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you probably the quickest, simplest and easiest way to cut out an object in Photoshop. So this is the after and this is the before. So you're probably used to seeing that you've got multiple ways in which you can do it, but I'm going to show you a really simple, quick and easy way. So come to your eraser tool and we want to select the background eraser tool. Now at the top here, we've got a few different options. So the first one I'm going to do is click on this middle one here, which is going to give us a sample point. And then I'm going to click here and move down to find edges. I'm then going to bring the tolerance down to around anywhere between 40 and 45, but depending on your image, it will vary. So now the trick is to just to make the brush a little bit bigger using the brackets key. And the trick is to click once and continuously move the brush. So I'm going to click and just continuously move that around the edges here. And Photoshop is just going to find them edges for me. This is just a starting point for us. There we go. And now the second thing I'm going to do is click on where it says limits and come up to discontinuous. And again, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And the same thing, you need to click once and then drag across. So continuously moving the brush along all around the edges. There we go. So you can see that's a pretty simple and easy way of cutting out an object. Now what you can do is come up to the move tool at the top here, click in the middle and you can then move this around. And what this enables you to do is just see anywhere that you may have missed. So for instance, down here, I've missed a section. Photoshop hasn't managed to pick that up. So let's go back to the background eraser tool. I'm going to click on the first option here, which is the sample continuous and then I'm going to move this down to continuous as well. So this is your normal eraser tool. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller and then I'm just going to just define these edges a little bit more. There we go. And then you can just quickly go around all these edges. And you can go over this again with any of the other options. So if you wanted to refine the edges again, we could. So find edges and move that option across to the second one again and then just go over it and you can use this first point as well but you may find it's a little bit aggressive but sometimes it just does the trick around the edges but as you can see there it's just gone into the bag so i'm just going to make the brush a little bit smaller just to define that there we go so if you look at that now you can move that around and say yep yeah, we've done a really really good job and of course the other thing that you can do with this is come down to the bottom here. You can add a solid color. So we could add, say, a nice blue and then just drag that underneath. And now you've got a different background. So, yep, really, really simple, really, really easy. And of course, you can you can define this even more. You can see up here where some of this has not been erased out from the original picture. So you can just come back up to the top here and just move this tolerance up a little bit and just continue doing that. And you'll only need to do this if you're adding it to a, a different background. You can see there that that now is starting to fill in them areas. But if you wanted it just as a cutout, it would be absolutely fine. So there you go. It's that simple and that easy. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a real quick and simple and easy way of cutting something out. You can do this with hair, you can do this with portraits and things like that so yeah but for products it works really really well it's quick it's simple and it's easy i hope you enjoyed that i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye